Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to deal with, uh, it's going to deal with how to, I suppose, undertake an analysis of variance uh, through SPSS. Or, I suppose, if we were to shorten that down, it's how to conduct an ANOVA through SPSS. More importantly, what we're going to be concentrating on is a, is a one-way ANOVA or a single-factor ANOVA. Uh, that's where we have a single dependent variable and we have one single independent variable that has a number of levels of measurement associated with it. Okay, so in this particular instance we're going to concentrate, uh, like in the previous videos in SPSS, we're going to concentrate on one of the sample data sets that comes provided with SPSS. And it's the employee data set. Uh, and the question I would like to ask or uh, find an answer to is whether there is a significant difference between the salaries earned dependent on your, your your job category if that makes sense yeah so uh, is it the case that clerical officers have a different average salary compared to managers or possibly even compared to uh, custodians yeah uh, i've actually walked through the, the makeup of this particular spss uh, this spss data sheet uh, in a previous video but let me just go through really quickly again uh, the first column is just an ID uh, for each particular respondent. Each respondent's uh, data is within a row. Uh, the first column represents their ID. So the first person here has ID 1. They're male. Their birth date is the 2nd of 3rd, 1952. Their educational status is 15. Job category is a manager. Their current salary is 57,000. When they begun this job, their salary was uh, 27,000. Uh, the amount of months they have in this particular job is 98 months. The previous experience, they had 144 months experience. Uh, and this uh, particular variable here is whether they are classified as minority or not minority. So this is sort of an American sort of data set here. Yeah. And now what I've actually done here is I've actually created a new salary variable. And I've called it salary normal because one of the assumptions, now there is many assumptions that go along with an analysis of variance. Uh, but one of the assumptions is that the groups or the samples have been drawn from populations that are relatively normal or that they're normal populations. And that's one particular assumption. Now, the data set that comes provided with uh, the employee data set, uh, which comes within SPSS, within the sample data collection, uh, does have a salary variable. Well, actually, let's just have a look at this. When we actually have a look at the salary variable and when we plot some histograms, yeah, uh, based off job category, I'm going to go to graphs, legacy dialogues, I'm going to look for some histograms, uh, I'm actually just going to get rid of this because this is the new variable that I've created, okay, uh, so I'm going to go for current salary, that's the variable I'm interested in, and actually what I want to do is I want to break up the output based off the education, or sorry, off, off, off their employment category, whether they're a manager, whether they're a custodial, or whether they're clerical, uh, so I'm just going to put that into rows so that we can actually see the distribution side by side, yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to hit OK now. So I hit OK, and you can see that I get, I get three distributions out here, okay? Now, it's probably a little bit difficult to see here, but you can actually see that there seems to be outliers here in the clerical data set. If anything, this data set seems to be positively skewed. Uh, when it comes to the custodial data set, you can sort of see that it seems to be skewed negatively. And if anything I was to say about this particular data set here in relation to the managers, this seems to be positively skewed slightly as well, because there's, there's a main outlier out here, yeah? If we look at these outputs, uh, let's say, let's actually do another analysis. Let's go to analyze, let's actually test the statistical significance uh, of these particular distributions with respect to normality, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to analyze, compare, no, not compare me, it's descriptive statistics. And I'm going to explore the data set. So I'm going to explore. I'm going to base it off. Let me just reset this here. Let's just reset everything. Uh, I'm going to the dependent list or the dependent variable is going to be current salary. And the factor list is going to be employment category is the factor list. And what I'm going to do is uh, by default, we always get descriptive statistics output. Okay, So we'll just continue with that. But the plots that I want, I don't want stem and leaf plots. I'm going for histograms. Yeah. Actually, why not? I'm just actually going to ask for the normality tests as well. Uh, in particular, this will output the, norm, the Kolmogorov Smirnov uh, statistic and also the Shapiro Wilkes statistic. We're going to rely on Shapiro Wilkes. So I'm going to hit normality plots and tests. I'm going to hit continue. 
It's gonna hit okay. There's gonna be a lot of output here, so don't be don't be don't be uh, bullied by this, yeah. Uh, uh, it's straightforward enough. Case processing summary. Clerical officers, there was 363 of them. Custodials, there was 27. Managers, there was 84. There's no missing values, as you can see. So this is just a case. Uh, this table here is just case processing. Then we have the descriptive statistics here. I've walked through this in a previous in a previous video, so I won't spend too much time here on this, but just to say that the center of the distribution for clerical officers is at 27,000. A standard deviation is 7,000. Its variance is 57,000, which is the square of the standard deviation. Just keep that in mind there. That's quite a huge variance, yeah? Custodial officers, uh, their average is 30,000. Their variance is about 44,000. And the managers, uh, their mean is 63,000. Their variance is 33,000, yeah? But scrolling down, you can see the test of normality here. The Shapiro-Wilkes test... You can see that we've reached significance. All the p-values are less than 0 0.05 here for each one of our groups, for clerical, custodial, and managers. The null hypothesis associated with our test of normality is that the distribution being considered is normal. In this case, we reject the null. Uh, the probability of observing it is less than uh, 0 0.05 if the null hypothesis is actually true. So we're actually going to reject it in all cases. So we're going to assume now, we're going to infer, that's more important to say that, we're going to infer that the distributions are not normal, yeah? And you can probably see that now when you look at the histograms, okay? You can actually see the skewness here. You can see, mm, probably a bit harder to see, but there's probably a bit of skew here to the left, yeah? And uh, look at here, you can see the manager's category, it's positively skewed. So, because we've deviated the normality assumption, uh, we shouldn't be doing an ANOVA, okay? Now, ANOVA is robust to a certain degree but we should probably be doing some sort of non-parametric uh, test to test for the differences across job category so what i've done is initially is what i've done is i've actually created another salary variable and i've just thrown it in here and i've created this i've orchestrated this so that the salaries are actually normal so actually if i do this analysis again and i analyze descriptive statistics explore instead of exploring the current salary i'm going to explore this new variable that i've created okay Still current salary, salary normal. I'm just going to hit OK. You can see the output that we get now. Let me just go down here. Okay. 363, 27.84. They're the sizes of the samples. Uh, the statistics have changed. And you actually see now that none of the significance levels are, uh, are, are less. None of the p-values, more importantly, are less than 0 0.05. And as such, these can be deemed to be normally distributed data sets. You can probably actually see them there. And when we actually have a look at the histograms, we look at that. Mm, that looks a little bit thing there, but anyway, we haven't we haven't violated the normality the normality principle based off our Shapiro Wilkes. Uh, mm, interesting when you look at the custodial and you actually look at the Kolmogorov Smirnov test, which has given us a significance of 0 0.033, whereas Shapiro Wilkes is 0 0.121. Uh, that seems to be saying it's not normal, and I sort of was saying that by inspection of this histogram here for the custodials. But let's not worry too much about it. Let's just continue on under the assumption, uh, relying on Shapiro Wilkes, which says that the tree distributions are normally distributed. Okay, so what I want to do is I would like to test now whether there is a significant difference uh, between the salaries of managers compared to clerical officers compared to custodials or any possible pairing and to do this because we have more than two groups uh, more than two levels of measurement associated with our, with our independent variable job category uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a one way ANOVA and don't forget we've only got one independent variable as well which is job category so to do an ANOVA uh, I'm going to go to analyze I'm going to go to compare means one way ANOVA is what I'm going to choose I'm going to hit one way ANOVA I'll just reset this here the dependent variable, the one that's I suppose that I'm interested in finding if there's differences within is current salary. That's the normal version that I've created. And the factor or the, the independent variable that's creating the groups is employment category. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay. Now, maybe what we should do is we probably should look for some uh, options, yeah, in relation to homogeneity tests uh, and, and so on. I won't look for that just yet, okay? I'm just actually just going to do this. I'm just going to hit OK as is and get the output of this particular one-way ANOVA. Okay, so I'm just going to hit OK. 
this is what we get. Okay. Now, as we know, and in the in one of my previous videos on the logic behind an ANOVA, that was a hand.